Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to understand about the flyback transformer design in LT Spice. Okay, so I will I will explain the step by step procedure to design a flyback transformer in LT Spice, and also I will run the simulation and I will show you what is the primary voltage and what is the what is the effect of flyback transformer and what is the secondary voltage i will also make you understand how do we calculate the turns ratio of this transformer and how do we calculate how do we calculate the secondary voltage okay so this is going to be very interesting topic for me at least right so hope you will enjoy this video right so i will also explain what is the mutual coupling factor or coupling factor which is associated with which is associated with the with the transformer design and i will also explain the role of leakage inductor in the flyback transformer design right so let us before i start the video let me delete these two inductor here okay so that you can better understand right so what i do is you you my you may know this is the voltage source for this design i have considered the sine wave here you can see sine wave the amplitude is 240 volt peak and the frequency is 68 kilohertz which is very near to maybe your flyback switching frequency right so one more thing you have to make in mind you have to remember is that you have to write it here the series resistance otherwise your circuit won't work okay otherwise the lt spice uh, won't work so so let me close it here this is your primary voltage and frequency here you can get your secondary voltage and let me rename it as a secondary voltage vs right and this is 100 ohm so let me now place the inductor right so just copy it from there and place the inductor right and let me move this l1 here and this l here and if you right click on this part you can find the inductance value so for now this is 100 micro henry right so you here we go so here this is 100 micro henry and l1 you can define your lp which denotes primary inductors let me let me take one more part and rotate it so for rotate this part you have to use the controller so this is controller and let me move this designator here l this is also right click on this part and you can see the secondary inductance this is one micro handy and you may rename this this is l s right so here you have your primary inductance the value for this primary inductance is 100 micro handy and you have your secondary inductance and the value is one micro handy all right so so the question here now arises is you can see how do we calculate the turns ratio of this transformer in lt spice and how lt spice understand the turns ratio right this is most important question which you might ask yourself right so let me explain you the answer of this question so in lt spice the turns ratio is given by n and it is defined as square root of your primary inductance divided by your secondary inductance here so n equal to square root of lp divided by ls so n equal to square root of 100 micro handy divided by 1 micro handy if you solve this you can find your turns ratio is 10 okay now if you want to find your secondary voltage that is given is vs so vs divided by primary voltage 240 volt divided by turns ratio 10 and you will get 24 volt so now you have your primary voltage you have your inductance value 
for primary and secondary you have your turns ratio here and you have your secondary voltage so this is theoretically i have calculated and i when i, I run the simulation i will show you what is the secondary voltage here and whether it is matching with this calculation okay whether it is matching with your calculation so now let me explain you most important thing now so you place two inductor here right lp and ls so you can see here there is a dot so this is basically a dot which which you can see in the flyback transformer is dot is this side and in the secondary dot is that side okay in the primary dot is downside and in secondary dot is upside in the flyback transformer so how you will see dot in your inductor so right click on here and you can see you can see here so phase dot so if you check this icon you can find your dot right if you check this icon there is a dot if you untick this you don't see the dot so for this you have you can see so phase dot this is checked right okay so now but but for now this is simple inductor and it won't work as a transformer so how this simple inductor works as a transformer so for to do this you need to introduce coupling factor between your primary inductor and your secondary inductors basically what is flyback transformer flyback transformer is nothing it is a simple inductor which based on the inductance value and turns ratio and there is a mutual coupling between primary and secondary okay so so you have to introduce mutual coupling which is given by k so to write the mutual coupling you have to go the spice directive dot op here and you can see here spice directive and you have to write some command here so i have already written command here so how will you write the command this is k which denotes the coupling factor between lp and ls means primary inductance and secondary inductance and you can see is 0.98 what does it mean this is basically 0.98 basically a leakage inductance for the ideal transformer the leakage inductance should be one but for the practical transformer it it should not be one so you cannot achieve uh, a transformer without having you cannot make a transformer without having any leakage inductance so for now this simulation i have considered the leakage inductance is less than one for flyback transformer and it is 0.98 okay so now stage is set now you know the primary voltage and frequency you know your primary inductance and the turns ratio your secondary inductance and your secondary voltage by this calculation your load value and you have already written the command for your coupling factor between primary and secondary uh, so you 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 now this inductor is been coupled with this syntax okay so this inductor is no longer will be working as an inductor it will work now a transformer right so stage is set now let me run the simulation so go at the simulation edit simulation command and for now i have selected a transient analysis and stop time is 100 microsecond right okay so let me run the simulation go at this button run button and you can see here window tile window vertically now if your window is tile vertically you can see both schematic and waveform here now click at here and add plot pane i will show you the primary voltage so this is your primary voltage here right and now i will show you the secondary voltage so this is secondary voltage here now you can see your primary voltage amplitude is 240 volt and your secondary voltage amplitude is here is nearby 24 volt. so this is primary voltage right so amplitude of this primary voltage is 240 volt and this is the secondary voltage and amplitude of your secondary voltage is how much it is 24 volt and if you go and see your calculated value is primary vs is was how was it how was 
uh, how much it was it was 24 volt now in simulation you can see that your secondary is 24 volt what does it mean you it means that your spice is not lying you okay your lt spice is not lying you so whatever you have done mathematical analysis you have done some calculation and the same result is matching right so so your primary is 240 volt and your turns ratio is 10 so that's why your secondary is 10 volt right so so you can see here your secondary voltage is 10 volt now let us understand the role of this dot which is given here and the role of this dot which is so this dot indicates that your secondary voltage is 180 degree out of phase with your primary voltage okay so this dot this dot you can see here your your dot is this side and your dot is this side that means your secondary secondary voltage is 180 degree out of phase with your primary voltage now let us go at a spice simulation and let us see if it is if it is same so you can see this is your primary voltage right and you can see this is your secondary voltage so your primary voltage is opposite in parallel your secondary voltage is opposite in polarity with your primary voltage that means your secondary voltage is 180 degree out of phase with your primary voltage right all right hope you understand how will you design your flyback transformer right flyback transformer this you can use by using this transformer you can use you can design your flyback power supply but to make sure here i have chosen a sinusoidal wave and you may need pulsating wave to drive mosfet and the flyback transformer right so hope you you have understood how will you model how would you model a flyback transformer in an lt spice if you have any question feel free to ask me in comment section thanks for watching this video guys Thanks for your patience.